I'm Ethan, I love muzzle loading, and this is everything you need to know about the Paramount Pro V2. The Paramount Pro V2 was announced in early January 2023 and is the first iteration of advancements that we've seen in the CVA Paramount Pro line since its introduction in 2020. In short, we have a few key updates to the Paramount Pro. First, you'll notice that it's going to be up to eight ounces lighter than the Paramount Pro V1 in the 45 caliber and two ounces lighter in the Paramount Pro V2 50 caliber. The Paramount Pro V2 has a new stock design specifically designed for the Paramount line of rifles. This is made by Graybow. The 50 caliber version comes stock with a Williams micro adjust peep sight. The 45 caliber is drilled and tapped for the same sight system, but it is available separately. Like we saw with the Acura Extreme series rifles, the Paramount Pro V2 now comes stock threaded at the muzzle for a muzzle brake. There are a few options out there for a muzzle brake for the Paramount Pro V2. You can find the CVA muzzle brakes in stock and there are several other aftermarket versions as well that people have been enjoying. Like we saw in the CVA Wolf V2 last year, the Paramount Pro V2 now has an adjustable length of pull thanks to a set of removable spacers at the buttstock. The trigger in the Paramount Pro V2 has been updated to a Trigger Tech fully adjustable trigger. So those of you that might be looking to uh, adjust that trigger to be quite a bit lighter than some of the standard hunting triggers out there are gonna enjoy that feature. Lastly here in some of the key updates right out the gate, the Cerakote color on the hardware and the barrel specifically comes in a complementary color to this new camo pattern on this new Graybow stock designed for the Paramount Pro V2. To run down the specs here of the CVA Paramount Pro V2 as CVA has them listed currently at the time of recording, the CVA Paramount Pro V2 is available in the 45 and 50 caliber versions, has a nitride treated fluted Bergara stainless steel barrel with that Cerakote coating. As usual for the Paramount line and now the Acura line really, we have a free floating barrel again in the Paramount Pro V2. We have two different threaded options for your muzzle depending on your caliber. The 45 caliber version is going to be threaded for three quarter by 20 and the 50 caliber version is going to be threaded for three quarter by 24. The barrel length on both the 45 and the 50 caliber versions is 26 inches. The overall length of the Paramount Pro for either version is 44 and one quarter inches long. The 50 caliber version is going to weigh 8.4 pounds and the 45 caliber version is going to weigh 8.6 pounds. We have the standard Veriflame breech plug. We have the compartment for your primers. We have a Graybow fiberglass stock here. As noted in the press release, this is supposedly hand painted. We have our Trigger Tech trigger, which is fully adjustable, a Quake claw sling. The Quake claw slings are under the same umbrella as CVA under BPI Outdoors, so it makes sense for them to continue this partnership. The Paramount Pro V2 is going to include the stainless steel palm saver ramrod. The last thing as far as notes go for this rifle is we have now in the documentation for the Paramount Pro V2 saying that this rifle is specifically designed for those power belt ELR bullets, which is something that we've seen some issue with uh, with people wanting to use aftermarket bullets. Um, and there's been a little bit of back and forth between CVA and its shooters, at least online. But we do have people that are getting great accuracy out of those power belt ELRs. We have successful hunts being recorded with them as well as aftermarket bullets. Uh, but we do still see CVA moving forward at least with the Paramount Pro V2 uh, line of rifles here, recommending those power belt ELRs. Overall, I think this is an interesting change. It's not one that I had caught any wind of, so kudos to CVA on that. In years past, there have been some leaks when we have an announcement like this come out, but it was neat to kind of be checking the, checking the web during the day and see this go live and, and be able to catch up with it a little bit. I think the Paramount line is a really popular line, at least uh, for a lot of folks that are wanting to go out and, and shoot these longer ranges, be that competition or for your hunting situations. I think really the biggest change for the Paramount Pro line, at least for me this year, is that it's not coming set up for scope rings. We can still set up and attach a Picatinny rail like CVA recommends to attach your standard scope rings and attach any scope you want to it, but we have it going out the door to hunters set up, at least in this 50 caliber version. The 45 caliber version, you can purchase the sight separately and add on, but we have it accommodating the Western Open Sights rules with this micro adjust Williams peep sight. And I think just my own presumption here, this is no official commentary by any means as to what CVA is doing here, 
But I think this is a decision made in conjunction with some of the rules we're seeing changing uh, uh, surrounding these modern muzzleloaders, especially in the western states. We saw last fall New Mexico change their ruling that for 2023 and beyond, until it possibly changes in the future, but modern muzzleloaders or muzzleloaders in general need to be equipped with a, uh, an open sight or an iron sight system. And that leaves room for the Williams Micro Adjust Peep Sight that we have CVA partnering with and including with the 50 caliber Paramount Pro V2. It's interesting to me because we have the Paramount line coming out to make these extremely long range shots, you know, past the 300 yards that we see CVA mentioning. And we know that CVA staff and CVA Pro staff have been taking shots and, and taking game out to 500 yards. And you think even out to 800 yards at least for target practice at some of their media events, which is really neat. But then we have the reaction from kind of the hunting rule makers out there, seeing that kind of advancement and pumping the brakes a little bit. And then we see kind of this back and forth between the muzzleloading industry from BPI and CVA here, trying to make it as easy as possible for people to accommodate and work within those rules. That's just me though, looking at it in kind of the scope that I do kind of kind of looking at all of this playing out at once, um, it might not be the case really at all. It might just be the kind of thing that they got some feedback on, that people wanted some stock sites uh, set up and ready for it, and that really could just be the case. But all in all, I think it's an interesting release. I'm glad to see some new releases from CVA this year. I think there's some more from the muzzleloading industry as the SHOT Show and the other trade shows play out early spring here, 2023. I like the new stock design. I like the camo pattern they've got on there. I really like the Cerakote color. It's not necessarily the same kind of hunter green that we're used to seeing, but it's not uh, super outlandish like we see in some of the high-end stocks out there. It's kind of a subdued, kind of calm uh, color scheme, I would say. I like it, um, but really it's just kind of cosmetic. It's going to come down to how well it shoots and, and what the CVA customer base thinks about it as an update to the Paramount Pro line. So let me know what you think in the comments. Is this the kind of thing that you're willing to upgrade to? Uh, do you have a Paramount Pro V1? And uh, does this make you second guess that purchase at all? Or are you looking to shift? You know, maybe you have something like an Acura or a Wolf and you're wanting to go up a couple steps. Oh no, I think it's a nice update for us to see to the Paramount Pro line. This is CVA's premier muzzle loading line. So I think we're gonna see this continually supported and updated over the years. I hope to get my hands on one of these here someday, at least to play with it a little bit. I think it's neat that CVA is taking the long range muzzle loading market and really tried to popularize it with the Paramount and the Paramount Pro line. Uh, but it's really up to you and, and how you want to enjoy your muzzle loader. So that's all I have for you today. If you'd like to learn more about the other releases from CVA this year in 2023, check out some of the other videos out there. I have a full breakdown on the CVA announcements heading into the SHOT Show for 2023. Once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzle loading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.